Hey guys, I am Lenny and this is the last part of my data mining tutorial. In this part I'm gonna describe how to use cookies and the reason for that is uh, as follows. I'm gonna draw out, well, draw um, the, the example. Um, let's say uh, we got we got a site where there's a form like um, more difficult form, um, more interesting form. You got one select box, another select box, and this select box is, let's say, operating system, or operation system, and this one will be. Um, another value. It doesn't really matter. In this case, um, this form works um, like this. You enter the site and you see a form with uh, two select boxes. Um, you first select an operating system and then you choose um, which version of the operating system you're using. This is not the best example <laughs> I came up with, but let's say um, this other box will fill in um, according to your choice in the first one. In this case it doesn't really apply, but I think you got what I mean. And the site um, works like this. You fill in the first one, submit, well it kinda, um, it submits the form itself. You don't need to push any buttons. Then it uh, fetches the data for the, the next select box. And then after you select uh, uh, something else here, uh, you can submit the form with a button or whatever. It can submit itself again. It doesn't really matter. Um, the most important thing is that with each option you select, it stores the data in the session you're currently using. And after you hit this button, all it does is that it redirects you to another page that uh, goes through your session and displays the result for the data you stored in your session. Again, that means that after I'll select something here, it uh, submits the data into the session. If I fill this, this in, it submits the data into the session again. And when I hit this button, uh, which sends the, um, which uh, redirects you to the result page, which is this one. It displays the data according to values stored in the session. I hope I described this situation well. And I've actually encounter, encountered this in real life. My um, goal was to reach uh, data on this side. I had no idea how sessions work and well it kind of occurred to me or I kind of figured it out as um, I try to submit these values to this site or any form I have found on that site, but it didn't do anything. And well, the form was even more. Um, there were three options in the form. That doesn't really matter. And I have um, realized that I could use the session. Well, I could fake the session. Um, I would have to come up with a special session ID and that's pretty hard to do. So I have actually uh, simulated um, to go through the wall uh, cycle of choosing all the options, then sending, the, sending them and accessing the site with the same 
cookie where the session is stored for each of the steps I made. So um, at first what you want to do is to is to get a cookie out of the site uh, you're on. Then each step you do, um, which is request you send, you send it with the cookie you have fetched in the first step and it uh, like stores the data in your session. This thing happens on the source side, so it's up to them how they do it. Um, they might not even use this system. This is kind of trickier. But if they do, this works. Um, then you, well, then the um, application selects another thing and it's stored in the session again and again. And after I um, hit this button and I'm redirected, I access this page with um, again this session as a request parameter and my results are displayed correctly. I'm not gonna show you how to well how this works in real life as I would kind of compromise my work but I'm gonna show you how to use the cookie. I have edit um, field it's a string field for the cookie and all this does is it fetches the cookie as a string. Um, this is the code for it. You can pretty much copy paste it as it's really <laughs> self explanatory and um, pretty easy. All you need to do is to specify the link and it just uh, loads the cookie for you. Then what you have to adjust is the send request method. You need to add this thing. Um, it says, I don't think I need the null check. Yeah. Um, this says that if the cookie is set, then I'll set it to the request and use it. All right, I'm gonna show you um, how the cookie looks like. We don't care about the, the actual result as um, this page doesn't use the session. But um, you can see that this is stored in that cookie. And that's basically what you pass as a parameter. Alright, I think I covered uh, the cookie and session thing, uh, which uh, which concludes my tutorial on data mining. Um, if I encounter any um, interesting problems, I'm sure I will record them and show you how I um, resolve them. If you got any, if you got any questions, uh, feel free to ask. I'll be glad to answer. And good luck with your mining. <laughs>